Hey everyone, Ben here and welcome back to the channel. I'm here at a undisclosed location in Florida and uh, today we're gonna do things a little differently because I'm actually already on the boat. You wanna see? Yeah, it's a big one. So for those of you confused what exactly you're looking at right, at right now, I'm standing on Stars and Stripes 88 S2, which is a massive racing tr catamaran which was, which was constructed solely for the purpose of winning the 1988 America's Cup. Now this isn't exactly a history lesson so I'm not gonna, you know, dig into all the details. Needless to say, there's some rather amusing footage you can watch on YouTube of Dennis Connor being a bad boy Dennis talking smack to the Kiwis. No, I guess when he's won uh, four America's Cup, uh, he can uh, then tell me how to do it. <laughs> I'm just a carpet salesman, Michael. I mean, it's hard to believe, but I really like him. I mean, he did. <laughs> But that's not why I'm here today. I'm not your history teacher as much as I love sailing history. I'm here because this boat is actually for sale. And if you want it, give me a call. But to my knowledge, I don't think anyone has ever done a real in-depth walkthrough on what these boats, you know, are. Uh, so, although I'm about 30 years late, uh, better late than never, right? So, you know, come with me and we'll do a quick tour. So we're currently on the porthole. Uh, the crossbeam on this boat is detachable, so Ca bear with me as I straddle between the abyss and the boat. This uh, isn't much here. This is the Stearns. Boat could use a bit of paint, but I believe this is the original design. They never uh, painted it over or changed it. Got the Stars and Stripes logo on the back. Like I said, the crossbeam is detachable, so this entire boat can just sort of be packed away and uh, <clears throat> shipped uh, over land. Uh, tiller is right there, but I'm not going to undo that. You can tell this boat is definitely a little older because it uses variant winches. Uh, I think they've been out of business for like a decade. <laughs> and surprisingly, not all of the winches on this boat are self-tailing. Seems a little ridiculous, but that's how they decided to do things back in the day. This hatch cover feels the construction is highly composite. Lighting is not going to be great in here, but this is basically the bilge, and you have access to the mechanical spaces by crawling through hatches on either side. The rigging is hydraulic, so you just swage it to the end of that, and then that's how it works. Uh, it looks like there's definitely been some work done to the chain plates based on the condition of that, so they've probably been replaced. You've got the dagger board system. It's a pretty tall dagger board. It's about as tall as I am, I'm back 6'2". Got a really nice long bowsprit here. Then you have one variant on this side and another self-tailing variant on the other. Um, there's the anchor, but that's not really necessary. Uh, I basically do not trust the trampoline on this thing for uh, rather obvious reasons, so I'm just gonna kind of walk across the crossbeam. <laughs> yeah, you know, occupational hazards of being a yacht broker. This is, this is what they don't tell you about. You know, it's, it's, it's dangerous out there. Stop here and you'll see that all the electricals run by the cross beam here, as well as the lines that would run up the bowsprit. Come to these blocks. Okay, so having successfully cheated uh, walking over the abyss, can take a look up at the rest of the boat. Better look at what the bows are like. It 
Supposedly this boat had some trouble with its, uh, I guess, martingale or dolphin striker during the race, which it lost its mast. We'll see the what exactly happened because of that in a bit. I don't know. Yeah, it's built using a foam, foam composite. You can definitely tell it's old because if this was a modern America's Cup catamaran, the bow would be in the opposite shape. But back then, you know, bows which were longer above the waterline were more uh, were more popular. Nowadays, it's the opposite. It's pretty much the same side, same deal on the other side. Here you have the actual tiller, which I believe is original. Still has the American magic uh, pattern on it. Also neglected to mention, but uh, after the America's Cup, they did add a motor mount, which is out there. And as well as you have the traveler track, which runs the entire backside of the boat. Currently the rig is on the hard. Um, it was pulled for some work to be done on it, so. Just give you a quick visual run through. So that is Stars and Stripes 88. Uh, they built two of these things. One is supposedly in Mexico, but I haven't had anyone who's been able to confirm its whereabouts within the past decade or so. So I'm just gonna assume this is the only one left in the world. Um, I understand this is probably not the most practical catamaran out there, you know. There's no heads or cabins or, you know, anything, or salon or anything fancy like that. But uh, it does go fast and uh, if you're interested in acquiring a rare vessel with an interesting pedigree, then give me a call. So as always, if you like the video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and keep watching for more videos. I'll see you on the next one.